the applicable use case here for automotive would be this. And this is, and I'd like leading off with this slide in terms of recommendations. Now keep in mind, this is overarching. I don't know what the particulars are for your objectives or your KPIs, but what I see that works and what I think is very valid is targeting and we can target in market for auto. I mean, that's kind of a no brainer, right? We wanna target the people that are in market right now for the last month for an automobile. They are in play. They are the most susceptible to ads and they are the ones that you can drive into car dealerships. You can also, depending if you're a luxury uh, a brand, your, uh, you know, your Audi, or maybe, maybe you have a lot with high performance luxury vehicles, you might want to look at in-market for luxury auto. There's a lot of other cool things you can do here as well, behavioral audiences. You know, let's say, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's ripe for, um, you know, minivans, you know, so you want to target, you know, uh, millennials with, with children, you know, that sort of thing. So it depends on your objectives and your KPIs, but behavioral audiences really work well for us. On the right side, and I need to mention this, um, because a lot of brands, a lot of automotive brands um, target by ethnicity. I, for one, was in, involved with the launch of the Chevy Cruze years ago, and their lead um, demo for them was um, Hispanics 18 to, uh, 18 to 49 with uh, an emphasis on 1834. So they were targeting Latinos, right? And we can do a lot of the same things, you know, again, depending on your objectives and where your dealership is located. If it is in high density areas, and I'm talking metros here in LA, New York, Dallas, Houston, Chicago, Miami, I think that's an order pretty close. If you're in any one of these areas and your dealership um, has an audience that is Latino, we can absolutely target them. We can even target them in language. The only thing I recommend is that you have enough Spanish speakers on your floor to be able to close that transaction. That's a very important thing to mention. I also mentioned location-based audiences. You know, we can look at, and this actually works very well, you know, brand loyalists. If you're a Chevy dealership, absolutely, you should target Chevy loyalists. You may also want to target Ford loyalists. I can't tell you what to do broad scope, but if you tell me that there's a synergy between those two brands and that both cars are in play for an individual, absolutely. Let's tap into all the loyalists that we can for that brand, you know, based on history and intent. Um, conquesting, another one, right? You talk to most dealers and they'll tell you, oh, yeah. Here's the five dealerships that we're just slugging it out every day for business. They steal our salespeople, this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. Conquesting is absolutely something we can do. We simply map um, competitors' locations. We can look and see who's been going in and out of those places and what type of loyalists they have, and we can target those mobile devices or their CT device, CTV devices and OTT devices or their desktop. Another interesting thing that we added at the end, recent visitors to repair shops. I never thought of this, by the way, but I think it's pretty cool. If you have been in, in the repair shop maybe two or three times in the last few months, you're probably in the market for a new car or a used car. So pretty smart way to go about that. And I think, you know, again, depending on the types of cars that you have, it may be a valid strategy. And this is really cool, weather targeting. What does that have to do with cars, you ask, right? I'm in Chicago. I live in Chicago. It's April, it snowed yesterday. I can guarantee you nobody sold convertibles yesterday or the day before and probably today. But if you are a dealership in Chicago and it is January, February, March, and the temperature has all of a sudden hit 65 degrees or 70 degrees, or you have a forecast for that day to be that high, all of a sudden people are thinking automobiles and convertibles. Dealers know this, they take their cars and they park them out front the convertibles because they know people will be in the mood for a convertible and they may actually be able to sell them. Conversely, and you may want to think of this too, if you have cold weather coming down the pipe, right? You have high, uh, low temperatures, maybe there's a snowstorm coming, you may want to set up a trigger campaign for SUVs. And a trigger campaign, you're going to set it up and it's only going to be activated based on certain weather conditions. A really cool thing that we do with uh, with Weatherbug, we can also do that with CTV um, Omnichannel. 